Nine years after the daring dam buster raids in 1943, Britain continued to develop new and more powerful weapons. By 1952, the World War II Avro Lancaster bombers used over Germany had evolved into the Lincoln design. And it was these aircraft, flown by Australian Air Force crews, which were involved in a weapon test that would make the dam buster bombs seem like a toy. Seven years after America destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the British had developed their own atomic bomb. And they tested it, not in England, but off the coast of Western Australia. Now on. Cloud drifts well clear of the menu, but it's still highly charged with dangerously radioactive water and mud. The test was carried out in the Monte Bello Islands off the WA coast and Aussie air crews were ordered to fly through the atomic dust clouds to gather samples. The Lincoln bombers were fitted with underwing canisters to capture the toxic dust and Newcastle Air Force veteran Ian Wilson was part of the ground crew based at Amberley. My job was uh, as an uh, engine fitter or flight, or flight mechanic, then you become an engine fitter, was to uh, uh, decontaminate the aircraft and in some cases uh, take the cylinders off which picked up the breakdown of the clouds as they left the explosion as they drifted across the country. So when we removed them we wore khaki shorts and just our ordinary overalls and when the British scientists come to pick them up they had all the protection gear on like spacemen. Ian says he was never issued with protective clothing and believes the exposure has caused lasting health effects. Your overalls and shorts would go next to the, the uh, washing machine and my son, being 18 months old, would be crawling over the top of them and so on. Anyhow, uh, to cut a long story short, uh, my eldest son had a kidney removed with cancer and uh, my uh, wife had a kidney removed for cancer. The British carried out three major nuclear tests at Montebello and nine more in the South Australian outback. These maps show the estimated fallout. It came in between uh, Dubbo, in across uh, between Gosford and Sydney at uh, 10,000 feet, about two miles up. And it was like a miniature show in Chernobyl. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, people in New South Wales got a uh, got it in their milk, their meat and everything else and that's where what damage it does after that. American servicemen directly involved in their country's nuclear testing were compensated with large cash payments. Our men were issued with a participation medal by the Australian government but no compensation. A dark chapter in our history that began 60 years ago today.